What up, it's your boy Mikey Vlogs. We are back on the YouTube. I haven't made a video in so long, but I'm back on it. I'm gonna start making some YouTube videos, you know, get back in the game. I've been working a lot. We've been building a hospital in White Plains, so, and it's still going on because it's an essential. And that's the only thing that you're really allowed to do is only essential workers. So I'm blessed to be still working, thank God. But I know a lot of people out of work. Six million people who collect unemployment. I just, I hope everyone gets through this, all right? This video is just mainly going to be talking about COVID-19, lockdown stuff, wishing everybody safe and health and all that good stuff. So, but before we get into that, I have a little story. Two weeks ago, we had um, one, of our, one of our guys got infected with the COVID-19 and he came to work he was coughing and yakking and he looked like shit so the next day on Tuesday he called me he's like yo Mike like I think I got the COVID-19 and now he was around all my guys and I have like 15 guys on my job site with me like so I was like do I tell my guys that someone that came in close contact with them might have had it or do I just keep working keep do what I think. I thought about it and I was like, God forbid that I, I don't tell my workers that someone that was talking to them all day with no mask had the COVID-19 and might have gave it to them and they could give it to their family, that would have broken. So I made the decision that to tell my guys that this guy had the COVID-19, then the GC got word of it and we were shut down for two weeks. So for two weeks, we were home, I guess everyone's doing the same thing. Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, we got everything over here. Xbox, just trying to keep busy. When I canceled work for all my guys, I came home, I was sick. I had 102 fever. I was aching, body aches, ch chills, fever. You know, I wasn't coughing, I had bad tonsils. I couldn't even swallow. I was having a hard time breathing when I was sleeping. and. I was scared, you know, I thought I had the I thought I had the coronavirus. I stayed in my basement quarantine, didn't go upstairs, didn't hang out with my family, didn't see my family. They came down to drop off food and waters and fluid. And I I was honestly scared, you know. I woke up Wednesday night in the middle of the night and I was just shaking like I was I was freezing, then hot, then I was cold again. It was a really scary day. Like I honestly was scared. I woke up, I had no voice, couldn't even talk, couldn't swallow. And then on Thursday, I went to see my urgent care guy, and he, he gave me strep throat, and he said I had strep throat. So, you know, you never know. You know, we, you could have symptoms, and you think it is something because you're scared, and you're seeing, you're watching the news, and you're seeing, oh, if you, have a, if you have a sore throat, if you have a cough, you know, you have it. That's not always the case. So it's always good if you have, the, if you have little symptoms, go get checked out. Go, go see if you have something. It's always good to, to just get checked out. So... You know, thank God that it it wasn't COVID. It could have been COVID. It could have been a little bit of COVID with strep throat. You never know. When I get a when I get a flu, I usually get strep throat with it. So they didn't test me for COVID nineteen. I don't know why, but it was a scary time, and I'm and that's why I'm saying we should always be we should just practice the social distancing. When you look at it, you look at it like you're with your family, you're stuck in the house. People are I see people complaining about it on social media, but you gotta look at it on the bright side. There's a lot of things you could do when you're locked in your house. You can play card games, you can play board games, you can do activities in your house, you can go for a walk outside, you can go to the beach, but at the same time, we gotta do a better job at social distancing. I'm seeing a lot of people on social media, I'm seeing a lot of people on Snapchat, all hanging out with their friends. They're not staying six feet apart, they're not staying in their own house. You know, don't look at it like you're a young kid and you, you might not die from it, God forbid, but what if you bring it home to your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa or your aunt and your uncle? And sometimes they can't handle. So you got, we all got to be smarter at, about this, okay? Because one, if we don't get better at social distancing, there's going to be no summer. That's a known fact. I'm not trying to be a dick. I've been working out for, for eight months for this summer. I've been grinding at the gym every day, working my ass off. And I'm not trying to sit shirtless in my backyard alone. Everybody needs to wake up. Stay in your fucking house for two weeks and just chill. Because I'm going to start driving around. If I start seeing people hanging out, 
I'm jumping out the car with a baseball bat and I'm breaking it up. You also need to start thinking about this in a positive way, okay? Be blessed that you're home safe in your house. Wash your freaking hands, wash your face, watch your body. If you go outside to go grocery shopping, wash your hands, wear a mask, wear gloves. I'm seeing people in the grocery stores with no mask on. They got no gloves on, they're touching everything. Like, let's, like, I don't know why we're being so stupid about this. Let's stop being stupid, okay? We gotta be strong about it. We gotta keep our heads up. Don't put your head down. Let's keep our heads up. Let's get through this. Let's work together. Let's talk to people, you know. And that's it, okay? And also I wanna spread a message that any first responders, doctors, nurses, aides, I honestly am so like blessed that we have people that are gonna risk their lives every day that are going to work that are going into conditions that they know they might get sick and they're going to work every day, working 12, 16, 18 hours to save our lives. And if anybody that's watching this video, you obviously mean something to me because you're clicking the link in my bio or you're on my Snapchat. And if you have any family members, I just pray that they're healthy and they stay safe. I also pray that everyone watching this video is family safe. You know, everyone's in my prayer. Every night I do a prayer about everybody that I know that's getting through this. It's good to be talking to God right now, even though I'm not the holiest of kids, but it's always good to talk to God and just make sure that he knows what's going on. So let's just, let's do that, all right? So today is Easter. I didn't want to say that in the beginning of the video because a lot of people don't celebrate Easter, but today is Easter. It's one of the holiest days. and. A lot of us are affected by it. We're used to being with our family members, we're used to being with our friends, having big parties at home, and it's hitting all of us. So, you know, just let's all stay safe, let's all be healthy, let's all get through this. A couple of weeks, a couple of months, let's get through this. We're gonna get come out stronger and better, right? I'm telling you, the United States is not gonna be the same after this. We're gonna come out of this stronger and better. We're gonna start manufacturing all of our goods and all of our stuff at home and it's gonna make the United States a stronger country, okay? So let's get through this. Everyone stay healthy. Love everybody that's watching this. And this isn't a video for subscribers or likes. This is a video just to talk and just, you know, spread my voice on what's going on, just spread love and spread kindness because I think everyone needs a little bit of that right now. All right, so I love you guys. Stay safe.